I'm David Baxter. I'm Amy Hawkins. And welcome to Cabiris This Week. And this week we're at the Cabiris Museum of Fine Art and African American History. I mean, this is a really neat place. We're going to show you all about it. Amy's going to tell you about it. Got a lot of other information going on here today. So grab that pen and paper so you can jot the contact info down. But if you miss that, don't worry about it. We'll give you an email address and a web address at the end of the show. Well, the Cabarrus County Museum of Fine Art and African American History was founded right here in Cabarrus County in 2001 by native Bernard Davis Jr. to promote and teach the appreciation of fine arts and to preserve and exhibit the cultural art and history of Cabarrus County's African American, Native American, Hispanic, and Asian American communities. The facility has two large galleries where visitors can see paintings, sculptures, and tribal African pieces. On display in the Fine Arts Gallery is the Cultural Fine Art Masters exhibit. This exhibit has works from several 19th and 20th century artists. In the Cultural History Gallery, you can see the Cabarrus County Minority History Hall of Fame exhibit. That centers around 12 local African American inductees who during the 19th and 20th centuries became Cabarrus County pioneers in their fields. One of the pieces you'll see at the museum is from Jacob Lawrence, among the best known 20th century African American painters, a distinction shared with Ramar Bearden. Lawrence was only in his 20s when his migration series made him nationally famous. The museum is open to the public Tuesdays through Fridays from 11 a.m. until 4 p.m. and Saturdays from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. For more information about the Cabarrus County Museum of Fine Art and African American History, that's located at 190 Corbin Avenue, Southwest in Concord, just call 704-305-3540. Now, for all you folks out there who didn't get enough of Valentine's Day and want to just keep on Ooh. having Valentine's keep Week. Keep the love going. That's it. You know, The Piedmont Choral Society is going to present Kisses and Cupcakes, mm. and that's an evening of love songs and desserts. Hey, yeah. That's pretty good. On Friday, February the 24th. The program is free, but donations are accepted. Now, the Piedmont Choral Society, it's a, it's a local chorus, includes singers from all over the community, and um, its mission is to provide high caliber performances, both of sacred and secular choral masterworks. Now for more information about the free Kisses and Cupcakes concert on Friday, February 24th at 7 p.m. in the Fellowship Hall of Forest Hill United Methodist Church, which is at 265 Union Street North in Concord, just call 704-699-6053. Come on out to the Cabarrus County Public Library and let's talk about it. Beginning on Thursday, February the 23rd at the Concord Branch, sponsored by the North Carolina Humanities Council. This book discussion, reading and book discussion series is Picturing America, Places in the Heart, and it looks at the ways human experience is shaped and defined by place. Books will be provided for participants, so the first one starting February 23rd to register. And for more information about Cabarrus County Public Library's Let's Talk About It series beginning Thursday, February 23rd from 10 a.m. until noon at the Concord Branch of Cabarrus County Public Library. Just call Chris Benshoff at 704-920-2053 or visit them online at cabarruscounty.us slash library or facebook.com slash cabarruscountylibrary. I know, Amy, you want to be an animal detective. That's, a, that's a, I know that that's a long-term goal is. of yours. It okay. Is. So you can go to the free mm. animal evidence workshop at North Cabarrus Park on Saturday, February the 25th, and you can join the park rangers and they explore the park to discover animals through all kinds of things. Their tracks, their scat, and other signs. Okay, maybe they carry little signs. I don't know. Now the workshop is open to all ages. Register for animal evidence by Thursday, February the 23rd at Cabarrus County us slash reserve partner type in the word evidence in the class search box for more information on animal evidence on saturday february 25th from 1 to 2 p.m north cabarrus park which is at 760 orphanage road in, in kannapolis just call 704-795-4493 or excuse me 4492 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash parks or facebook.com slash cabarrus county parks Maybe you're in a job search right now, or you know someone who is. If that's the case, you definitely want your resume to shine. No, absolutely. Come out to a free workshop at Cabarrus County Public Library to learn some great techniques for 
building your resume. The introduction to Cypress Resume Builder is going to be held on Thursday, February 23rd at the Concord Branch at Cabarrus County Public Library. Here you will learn how to use the specialized software to create professional looking, attention getting resume along with composing cover letters. The, in, the formation of reference list also will be discussed. The workshop is free but space is limited and registration is required. For more information on introduction to Cypress Resume Builder on Thursday, February 23rd at 5 p.m. at the Concord Branch of Cabarrus County Public Library. Just call the library at 704-920-2050 or log on to cabarruscounty.us slash library or facebook.com slash cabarruscountylibrary. Now, you know, you know, with the temperatures being in the 60s a couple mm. of times here for the past couple of weeks, you know, the kind of weather kind of makes you think about maybe having a spring garden, you mm. know? Um, so growing those fresh vegetables might be on your mind. So come on out to Franklin's Park for spring gardening, and that's on Saturday, February the 25th, and Saturday, March the 3rd. Now, you can learn how to kind of jumpstart your garden, you mm. know, kind of, it's been the long winter and all that, and you can know how to prepare it for those hot summer days. And uh, Cabarrus County's Master Gardener is going to be leading mm. the way on this. It's open for those who are five years old and older, and cost is only $5. Register for Spring Gardening by Thursday, February 23rd at cabarruscounty.us slash reserve partner. Type in the word gardening in the class search box. For more information about Spring Gardening on Saturday, February 25th and Saturday, March 3rd from 2 to 3 p.m. at Franklis Park, just call 704 920-2701 or just go to cabarruscounty.us slash parks or facebook.com slash Cabarrus County Parks. Well, speaking of spring and gardening, if your own kids have maybe sprouted a few <laughs> inches in the past few months and you're needing some new clothes for the spring, and you also like saving some money, great opportunity. The Tar Heel Kids consignment sale is coming to Cabarrus Arena and Event Center on Thursday, February 23rd through Sunday, February 26th. Now this formerly was called the Top Trade Show and this consignment sale features infant to junior size children's clothes, toys, accessories, as well as maternity items. Admission to the sale is free and parking is free on Thursday and Friday and Sunday. On Saturday, it is $5. Hours for the sale are Thursday, 6.30 until 9 p.m., Friday, 9 a.m. until 4 p.m., and 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. on Saturday, Sunday, 9 a.m. until 3 p.m. For more information about the Tar Heel Kids consignment sale on Thursday, February 23rd from Sunday, February 26th at Cabarrus Arena and Event Center that's located at 4751 Highway 49 North in Concord. Just call the arena at 704-920-3976 or visit cabarrusarena.com. Now the Cabarrus County Library is a great resource for all kinds of things in learning about computers. Mm. Now, you know, the best way to do that is, you know, the thing about this is really cool is no cost involved. Mm. So how can you beat that? You learn all about computers, no cost. Now, there's a number of classes that are offered several times a month at all the different branches, but we're just going to mention a few that are coming up here soon. Safe web browsing and online scam prevention. Now, that's a good one. Mm. And that's at the, the Harrisburg branch. Tuesday, February 28th at 10.30 a.m. And IT consultant uh, Neil Real is going to take you through the steps, kind of protect you from, you know, those fake websites mm -hmm. and, and other types of hazards over the Internet. And an introduction to computers and the Internet, and that's on Tuesday, February 28th, and that's at 5 p.m. in the Concord branch. And the class is kind of a crash course on kind of basic functions mm -hmm. on um, computers and just how to kind of get on and surf the Internet. Now, Computers for Beginners is going to be at the Kannapolis branch on Wednesday, February the 29th at 10 a.m. And these are the real basics, you know, just kind of like how to log on to the computer at the library, how to use a mouse, mm. and it, no, it's not a little, you know, anyway. Um, and basic terms and functions. Now this is a class for those that have little or no experience with computers. Registration is required. For more information about all the computer classes at the Cabarrus County Public Libraries, just visit cabarruscounty.us slash library or facebook.com slash Cabarrus County Libraries. 
Well, here is a great opportunity for your kids to learn a little bit more about Black History during Black mm -hmm. History Month at the Harrisburg branch of Cabarrus County Public Library on February 23rd and on February 27th. You can learn about the Underground Railroad with a program by the National Underground Railroad Freedom Center. It has been estimated that during the 1800s, more than 100,000 enslaved people wow. sought freedom through the Underground Railroad. Now, it wasn't a real railroad with right. rails and trains. This Underground Railroad was a term used to describe the secret routes that enslaved men, women, and children took to gain their freedom. Those who escaped often obtained help and protection from free blacks, whites, Native Americans, and other slaves who acted as conductors and provided food and shelter along the way. Now, this free program will give children the opportunity to learn how the Underground Railroad actually worked. Right. Right. Presentations for children ages 8 to 12 years old are going to be held on Thursday, February 23rd at 4.30 p.m. Another program designed for children ages 12 years and older is going to be on Monday, February 27th at 10.30 a.m. and then again at 5.30 p.m. For more information about Explore the Underground Railroad on Thursday, February 23rd at 4.30 p.m. and Monday, February 27th at 10.30 a.m. and 5.30 p.m. at the Harrisburg Branch of Cabarrus County Public Library, just call the library at 704-920-2080 or log on to cabarruscounty.us slash library or facebook.com slash cabarruscountylibrary. That sounds like great programs. Mm -hmm. Now, at the Cabarrus Arena and Events Center, come to the Equestrian Exchange Tack Consignment Cell. Say that really quickly, okay? <laughs> On Friday, February the 24th through Sunday, February the 26th. Now, the cells offer opportunity to consign and buy back tack barns, supplies, saddles, anything related to the equestrian mm. sport or for horses and for the rider. Now, admission is free and parking is free on Friday, Friday and Sunday. Mm -hmm. Now on Saturday, it's $5. Hours for the sale are Friday and Saturday, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. and on Sunday, 11 a.m. until 7 p.m. For more information about the Equestrian Exchange Tack Consign Sale on Friday, February 24th through Sunday, February 26th at the Cabarrus Arena and Event Center at 4751 U.S. Highway 49 North in Concord, just call 704-920 3976 or just visit cabarrusarena.com. Well, if you haven't gotten your ticket yet, you definitely want to check out To Kill a Mockingbird. It's presented by the Old Courthouse Theater in downtown Concord now through February the 26th. Based on Hopper Lee's 1960 Pulitzer Surprise Pulitzer Prize winning book, the theatrical production follows the Alabama lawyer Atticus Finch as he defends a young black man accused of raping a white woman. Now tickets are $15 for adults, $12 for seniors 60 years and older and students with an ID, and $10 for children 12 and under. Please note that there are themes that may right. not be appropriate for you or your family, so do take that into advisement. Playtimes are nightly at 8 p.m. and 2.30 p.m. for the Sunday matinee. For more information about To Kill a Mockingbird at the Old Courthouse Theater that's located at 49 Spring Street North, just call the theater at 704-788-2405 or visit oldcourthousetheater.org. Now, if you're kind of looking for something or to do, you know, to kind of recharge your mind and your spirit, we well, you can just go over to the galleries in downtown Concord and view the exhibition In and Out. It's really pretty nice. It's a multimedia uh, the exhibition is based on opposites. That includes everything from interiors and exteriors, inner thoughts and outward expressions, mm -hmm. and the artist's choice of methods and medium. Now, the show includes paintings, photographs, quilts, glass, art, baskets, and sculpture from 19 different artists. And we were there mm -hmm. a few weeks ago, and it really is pretty, pretty special. Now, you can enjoy the new exhibit through March 8th for free, Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. until 4 p.m., for more information about the galleries at 65 Union Street South, just call 704-920-2787 or just visit CabarrasArtsCouncil.org. All right, are you ready to get moving? Older adults out there, put on your dancing shoes and come on out to the Friday night dance at the Cabarrus County Senior Center. You can come out and enjoy the music of What's Left from 7 until 10 p.m. on Friday, February 24th at the Cabarrus County Senior Center that's located on Corbin Avenue in Concord. Admission is $5 at the door. For more details, just call the Senior Center at 704-920-3484 or you can visit cabarruscounty.us slash aging.
I tell you what, you know, people are interested in gardening. And we talked about the spring gardener, mm -hmm. that the master gardeners are going to be, you know, instructing everybody. Well, maybe you'd like to get involved with that group. Now, adults interested in volunteering to help teach others about plants can attend the classes to become a certified Cabarrus County Master Gardener mm -hmm. volunteer. Now, get your hands dirty all in there. That's, that's good. You know, get yes. into the earth. Now, the adult classes are taught by North Carolina Cooperative Extension agent David Goforth. No prior experience is needed and just a desire to kind of volunteer and mm -hmm. help others about plants. And I'm sure you're going to learn a lot Absolutely. along the way. Participants will be required to contribute 20 volunteer hours each year. Volunteer events will include everything from participating in the, the Spring and Herb Festival on Saturday, April the 14th, and the annual Cabarrus County Fair. Mm -hmm. And hey, you got to come to the fair. It's fun anyway. So <laughs> Now, classes held Monday from 1 to 4 p.m., classes from several dates. We're going to read these off here. March 12th, 19th, and 26th, April 2nd, 9, 16, 23rd, and 30th, May 7th, 14th, and 21st, and the cost is only $55. Register for the classes at the cabarrascounty.us slash reserve partner. Type in the word master in the class search box. For more information about becoming a master gardener volunteer, classes at the in North Carolina Cooperative Extension, and that's 715 Cabarrus Avenue West, or you can just call David Gorth, David Goforth. He's a great guy. 704-920-3320. Lots of great information on the show wow. today. If you missed anything, yes. you can always go to our website, kabiriscounty.us. Put in your search term at the top right. Get a lot of information. Of course, if you need more details, you can always drop us a line at channel 22 at kabiriscounty.us. Of course, one of the best ways to get all the details that we talk about right here on our show, Kabiris This Week, is to sign up for our email newsletter. There you'll get everything we talk about on the show with all the phone numbers, addresses, dates, times right there at your fingertips. So you can plan your week ahead. Do that at kabiriscounty.us. Click the newsletter sign up at the top right of any page and get your info today. So, you know, especially like a thousand dates that I just read, <laughs> that would be really helpful. Or if you have family and friends that don't have Time Warner Cable, can't watch us on Channel 22, well, or maybe you just want to watch us when you get a chance, on demand. Just go to CabarrasCounty.us, right there on the home page, just scroll down to the lower left to see the video screen. Below it says Cabarrus County, it says Channel 22 programs. Click on that, all the different programs we have will be up there, little thumbnails you can see, you know, everything from Cabarrus This Week, historical moments, all kinds of cool stuff. And uh, I tell you what, you haven't had a chance, you got to come by the museum here. Some really interesting uh, artifacts and also photographs. And it's really interesting to, to learn a lot more about the African American history here in mm -hmm. Cabarrus County. Yeah, and the, Hall, the Minority Hall of Fame is, is interesting to see. I, I didn't know so much about right. some of our own Cabarrus County history here. So definitely come out to the museum. It's located right below Barber Scotia College. Very easy to find, so come out and take part of that. And as always, have a great week and enjoy the rest of February.